I was warned that Doctor Doolittle 3 was nowhere near as good as the first two, the first two with Eddie Murphy at least. And yeah, I mean that's correct, but the film itself is not terrible. If viewed in isolation, it's it's all right, it's watchable. Compared to the first two, I get it. But personally, I actually prefer the third one to the second one. Because I just didn't really care for the second one very much at all. Third one's not too bad. This was released in 2006 and stars Kyla Pratt uh, as Maya Doolittle. She was, of course, in the first two films. She is Dr. Doolittle's daughter and she can talk to animals as well. But... It gets in the way of her life, particularly as she's a teenager, she's growing up, she kind of wants to be popular, but the fact that she keeps talking to animals or is seen interacting with them is cramping her style a little bit. So she goes off to this ranch uh, called Durango and it's an opportunity for her to, you know, spend time away from the city, to be around people she doesn't know, to, to find herself as an individual. I can't help thinking that that was a stupid, stupid idea. Why anybody would go to a ranch to get away from animals? I, I don't understand it. I do not understand that decision at all. And I think it's a massive fail for the film. Maybe if they gave her a different reason for being there, I'd completely understand. But the fact that she was going there to kind of get a break from talking to animals, not a good idea. But the actual film, the, the narrative itself is relatively interesting. I like the setting. I like films set on ranches. It's refreshing compared to the very New York, London based films that I tend to watch. So the scenery was quite refreshing. Maya as a character is nowhere near as cute and sweet as she is in the first two films. Obviously, she's grown up. Um, but I feel like she's a different character. Her attitude's changed quite a bit. There's not much of that young, sweet Maya there, which is kind of to be expected, but I think the character development is a little bit untrue to who she is. I will say Lucky is still in this, uh, voiced by Norm MacDonald. Uh, Lucky is definitely one of my favourite dog characters in any film. Uh, he's, he's brilliant. He's full of life and enthusiasm and just absolutely adorable. I'm not going to go into too, too much information about what actually happens when she's on the ranch, but you can imagine it's all about her interacting with people her own age, there's a little potential love interest, and then there are animals. Go figure. It's not bad, you know, I didn't I didn't dislike it. But I can see why a lot of people are saying it's nowhere near as good as the first two. I think the second film was a more interesting concept and better written, but I didn't like the fact that it was all about the bear and there were there, there wasn't enough mixture of animals in it for me this third film is a bit more interesting and i guess a bit more unpredictable as well so it's not bad if you're a fan of the first two films give it a watch but if you've watched the first two films and you're just wondering if maybe the change of protagonist would be something that would gel with you yeah no i'd say avoid it it's on disney plus definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the series or the concept, it's certainly not awful. <laughs>